Okay, so now we get on to the part where we actually build the spawner. I'm going to be using uh, different materials than I did the first time around because the it was a real pain in the butt to gather all of the corrupted stone. It was nice thematically, but I've done that one now. This one's this one's going to be a little bit different, a little bit easier. So first thing you want to do is find yourself a nice out of the way spot to build this thing out in the middle of the water away from all the land like in my particular one in this case I built it up here in the corner as you can see it's really far away from anything see there's no land anywhere nearby and the reason why we do that is because whenever you're in an area uh, you spawn things in the claim you're in and a couple of claims out in each direction. Now, when you're hunting in an area, that's not too bad because you're going to be wandering around and you're going to be trying to chase down those spawns, but when you're in a spawner like this, you want all of the spawns to happen right there next to you and you don't want to have wasted, so to speak, spawns out around you. You want them all to be right here because there's a finite limit to the number of spawns that can occur in any given area and you want them all to happen right here in your four in your uh, four claim your two by two uh, spawner area so we've picked a spot out here in the middle of the ocean where we don't have to worry about anything else interfering now once you've picked out your spot you want to set up a nice little uh, platform to a working platform put all your storage chests out here because you're gonna have a lot of stuff uh, again there's 7200 uh, roughly corrupted stone and 7200 corrupted dirt alone that takes up yeah, when you multiply that all out uh, times four claims that takes up uh, approximately three chests for each so you're gonna need a lot of storage and you don't want to be uh, teleporting back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to restock you want it all out here so uh, you stake your claim real quick so that you know what you're working with and it makes it a lot easier to place these blocks. I've got a guide block uh, blueprint that we use to, to help mark where to lay things out. I've done a little bit of pre-work here to speed things along. You want to find the southwest corner of your claim. And that's this one right here. I've placed a block here to make it easier to find. You place your claim guide, which is this one right here. Your spawner, the guide block you place that right here one block south of that block now the only purpose to this is to help you place the actual full spawn builder and you can see way over there that highlighted block that is your guide this is where you're gonna place your first quadrant and that would be the southwest one always place this one first because again it guides everything else Boop. Yeah. and when we go look the it will match up with the corners see matches up just like it should now we'll go ahead and pull this block this uh, piece back up and we're going to fly over to the next claim and lay the second one. Boop. Now, again, we find the corner of the claim. And we are in the second claim right now, not the first one. And we go one block south of that. And there we are, one block south. Now, all we got to do is find that guide block again. And we place the second blueprint. Same method as before. Right in front of it. There we go. Now, when we go verify it, there should be a one block gap 
between the two. Oh. Alright, we got the gap right, but apparently slightly off on this. So, pick it up. And this is why we have the guide blocks, because it's really easy to get that wrong, because it's hard to tell sometimes with how the borders are laid, the claim borders are laid out. And this time, we are lined up correctly. See? it's all good. This time we already have a block laid out to help us guide it. We don't actually need the guide block so we're gonna fly over here to the end and lay the third one in the next claim. All you have to do is look for the center right here where that gap is. That's what we're looking for. And we're going to lay this right inside the border of this claim. Yes, right inside of it. And this would be our third quadrant, the northwest one. And once again, there will be a slight gap between them. See? Everything lined up. Now we go over and we do the same thing with the, fo with the fourth quadrant. Now once again, we are center. And we place it right here inside the claim. And we'll verify real quick that it is lined up properly. Yep, everything's lined up. Let's go take a look at this from the corner. Okay, so now we're back on the platform and you can see all of the blueprints from here. We'll take a look at it on the map real quick. Everything is lined up and we are ready to start the construction. Now, technically, you don't have to do all four uh, blueprints at once. It, you can do one at a time, but I like to just run across and get it all done at once and be done with it. So, we'll go activate them all and then we'll get started. Okay, so I have activated all four of them and as you can see they look like they haven't been activated. This is something that's fairly common, uh, at least in my experience with these, when you're dealing with really large blueprints or lots of them at one time and it's real easy to solve. All you have to do is log out and, lo and restart the, the client and it should fix that and they should be ready to go. And we're back, and as you can see, restarting the client fixed the problem. Look at all those blocks waiting to be filled in. So we're going to go ahead and load up on all the stuff that we're going to need. Um, I start off with corruption blocks, just with the corrupted dirt, just because. Doesn't really matter what you start with. Then we're ready to get started. Now, Go ahead and pull this up. Oops. I'm going to kind of get you all started. I'm not going to actually make you sit through building this entire thing because that would just be ridiculously boring. But I'll give you a, a feel of what it's like to build this thing. And yes, it will take a few hours even with the blueprint to do it. Thank God for flood fill.
Now we got a good start. Let's climb up. Now, be careful. You will fall off of this thing a lot, and it will become very annoying. Because using crouch makes it take forever. Just make sure that when you come to the edge of one of the chunks, I'll show you here in a sec. When you cross over, cross over on one of those. Make sure and bring a healing beacon or two with you because as you can see your corruption meter does rise while you're doing this. It's slowly at first, but the more blocks you place, the quicker it's going to rise. So you want to make sure it has something to take the corruption meter off so you don't have to constantly pour it in and out. Or if you know, corruption resistance potions are your thing, you do that too. And see how much we've already done. So I'm going to stop the video here because this is really just a whole bunch of boring block laying. And once I complete a floor, you know, once I, I, I achieve an objective of some kind or move on to a different kind of block, whatever, then I'll go ahead and start the, the video again. This is really stuff you don't need much of. So.